It's time for 125 staff reads. Join us each Monday to find out what your library staff is reading for the 125 book challenge in honor of the library's 125th birthday. In 1897, Jise de Jong is asked to write a memoir about her experience emigrating from the Netherlands to the Michigan wilderness in honor of her town's 50th anniversary. As Jise recalls the events of the past, a young visitor, Anna Nicholson, mourns a broken engagement. Over the course of one summer, the lives of both women will change forever in Waves of Mercy by Lynn Austin. Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah is an enlightening book about the struggles Trevor Noah faced throughout his childhood in South Africa during apartheid and finding his way as a young adult in a post-apartheid world. Readers will enjoy this inspirational story that is filled with dry humor and constant surprises. After Cora, a pre-Civil War Georgia slave, escapes with another slave, Caesar. They seek the help of the Underground Railroad as they flee from state to state and try to evade a slave catcher, Ridgeway, who is determined to return them to the South. Historical fiction readers will enjoy the critically acclaimed novel, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. When her father's diaries are discovered after a tragic accident, Elizabeth, whose eyesight has failed, explores the diaries and the mysteries of her past with the help of Morgan, a delinquent teenager performing community service at Elizabeth's retirement home. The perfect hammock read for those who love the Bronte sisters and Jodie Picoult. Give the Light Keeper's Daughters by Jean Pendiswall a try. The Moment Reagan Doodle, an Australian Labradoodle, first set eyes on little Buddy, he knew his world was about to change. An uplifting tale of friendship, foster care, adoption, and hope that is told with warmth and a touch of humor by Reagan Doodle himself. Dog lovers everywhere will greatly enjoy Reagan Doodle and Little Buddy by Sandy Swiridoff. Remember, the 125 book reading challenge wraps up on November 19th so you still have time to keep working on your reading logs. Have any questions? Be sure to visit us or call 517-543-8859 for more information. Until then, we'll be back next Monday with five more staff reads. Happy reading!